name's Chris, and welcome to the channel. Um, yes, this is going to be a bag review of a, what I believe is an affordable luxury bag, because it looks like a luxury bag to me, and um, by a st store called Marine Layer. I have no affiliation with this store, and um, I was just walking down the street in New York City and saw this bag in the window of this store. That store. Um, and well, first of all, let me go see if the box is here. It should be here on the other side of the store. And it is. And actually, before we open the box, do you mind? I'm just gonna get a shot of espresso. Why don't you have some espresso with me? Come on over. By the way, did you see my friend Whiskers? A little mouse guy He's running around here somewhere. Oh, that's good. Salute. Cheers. I, uh, I'm a fan of coffee. I, um, yeah, I like coffee. Put a little bit of, little bit of milk, maybe a little bit of butter, maybe a little bit of sugar, very little, and um, and it's good. However, I usually drink filtered coffee, decaf filtered coffee, that is, because the espresso, I don't have too often, but every now and then when I need a little bit of boost of energy. You're a real caffeine junkie, aren't you? I'll have some espresso, but the espresso, it contains the coffee bean oils. And the coffee bean oils supposedly can give you high cholesterol. I'll try to stick to filtered and decaf coffee because too much caffeine, well, too much caffeine isn't that good for you either. It can speed up your heart rate, make you feel anxious, make you feel irritable. And no caffeine, okay, okay. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. No caffeine, caffeine is ridiculous right now, man. Well, tell me about it. I'm saying caffeine, yo, caffeine leads to depression, makes you all irritable, have your heart beating fast, faster heart rate, you know what I mean? Worse than anything, man, drink that coffee, you know. It, it, it. Supposedly, it can like give you the shakes. Um, so that's why I, yeah, I stick to decaf coffee and filtered decaf coffee. Um, and if you're younger than your mid-20s, I would try to steer away from too much caffeine, like soda, Coke, Pepsi, um, coffee, because, uh, well, you know. Anybody need more coffee? Kitchen's nah, closing. Nah, man, we don't, we don't mess with caffeine. You don't? Nah, I don't. Those you know caffeine could cause serious delirium. Delirium? Serious delirium. But now you tell me. Well, that may be a bad problem. Delirium. You did see my mouse running around, right? Around. I'm not delirious or anything. Whiskers. Crispy clean, no caffeine. Okay, this is the bag by Marine Lair. I have no affiliation with this store, Marine Layer. I have never been into the store um, until I picked up this bag. So walking down the street in New York City and I saw this bag in the window. And looking at the store and the bag in the window, first impression was this is gonna be some luxury store with some upscale expensive Product. Booked that a couple shirts. They had some shirts and some pants, and um, everything was set up nicely. The T-shirts were like fifty bucks, um, and they had like a pack of three for I believe a hundred dollars. Pants were like a hundred to two hundred. Jackets two hundred, three hundred. So it was kind of an upscale store. And when I saw this bag in the window, I thought, wow, that's a really nice looking bag. It's probably going to be too expensive. For me, I don't, I, first of all, I cannot, I have kids, I can't spend on luxury items, a thousand dollar bag, Goyle, Prada, uh, Gucci, whatever, all that kind of stuff, not happening. Um, and I don't, even if I had the money, I don't think I would spend that kind of money on, on a product like that. But this looked like a good, sturdy luxury bag. And I was thinking that the price is probably gonna be around $1,000. Um, so I walked in, started checking out this bag, and 
The bag, um, just the way that the bag and keeps its, its uh, you know, it's like, its form um, is what made me think that it was gonna be like an expensive luxury bag. And I thought this was gonna be leather material um, when I was looking at it through the window. But actually, this is a waxed cotton material. Um, and the, the salesperson was explaining how the waxed cotton, it um, is durable and it's pretty waterproof. So it, the water doesn't get through it. They use this waxed cotton material for sails, like on a sailboat. And um, so it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be waterproof and it's going to uh, hopefully last you for a lifetime. And then she was explaining how the uh, products there are, they use sustainable products, recycled nylon, recycled cotton, uh, recycled silk. And I like that idea because it's, it's, they're using sustainable products and it is environmentally friendly. So, um, so, and she was talking about how you can, you can turn in your old t-shirts like three, t three or three to five t-shirts or something you could bring in and they'll give you a gift card for like 25, 30 bucks for your next purchase. So, um, so I like that idea too. Like this, the story behind the store, there was a guy in uh, San Francisco, California, I believe, and his girlfriend was always throwing out his old t-shirts that were like his most comfortable t-shirts because after you wash cotton over and over and over again, it gets softer. So, um, so he wanted to make, um, make a product that is like his old t-shirts. And I believe this actual, this here emblem may resemble um, what marine layer is, the bag look of it. I like the retro style of the bag. Um, it has a little logo down here. You can see the little logo there, marine layer and the L. And I like the look of the bag. Um, Supposedly, marine layer is um, like in the, the bay area, so the ocean water comes in, the water kind of evaporates up, and it makes this kind of fog, and supposedly that is called marine layer, I believe, that's where they got this from. And I believe this here, this look right here, this might be like, this is the beach sand right here. This is the water over here or something. And this may be the, the haze of the fog marine layer. I don't know if that's where they got this kind of look from. I, I'm really liking the, the, the look of the bag. That's the first thing that stood out to me was the look of the retro design of this bag. And also how it just kind of stood up on its own. And it does not have anything inside. I believe, yep, it is completely empty. So it doesn't have like... A bunch of packaging that's making it stay up and stiff like that it holds its form on its own so i like that and oh look at this oh hey how's it going that's cute um i like that and you can see the logo in here there is the marine layer logo let's see that um and inside the bag there is a zipper pocket oh and look at that so there's a zipper pocket and then there is this here bag, like a shoe bag, I guess. Um, and then there's also a, well, looks like a laptop area over here. You could stick your laptop in there. And it feels like, yeah, so if you put your laptop in there, it would be kind of floating because the bottom of that pocket does not go all the way down. And there's padding down here as well at the bottom. There's a nice, amount of padding. Oh, and there's also a pocket over here. This store has been around for about 10 years um, from what I checked. And um, I started in San Francisco, like I said, and now they're like all over the United States. They have, uh, I think two stores in New York City. It is, oh, and there's a zipper. By the way, this, this here material, it feels very strong. Um, I really like the feel of the bag. There's a pocket there, this pocket. So you can put some things in there. Um, and this here feels very thick too, um, compared to 
Uh, my old duffel bag, which I actually have. Here is my old duffel bag. So it's a cheap champion bag and uh, it was a great bag. I've had it for many, many years. However, the, um, the plastic strap took off the little connecting piece from the strap and also it was ripping. So it was, the, the material was ripping. So it was time to get a new duffel bag. The bag is probably gonna be a little bit lighter. This is kind of a heavy duty bag and I have a scale, I'm gonna weigh it. 2.2 pounds. That is quite a bit for a bag. My old bag, one pound. I have a backpack. Let's see how much this weighs. 14 ounces. This is a lightweight backpack that I use. This bag definitely has some weight to it. So it, but you know, so it will be a little bit heavier to carry around once it's full, but it should be very durable and hold up for quite a long time. In fact, I have some clothes, some things that I would travel with and we'll go from there. Oh look, hey, it's Whiskers. Hey Whiskers, how you doing? See, I told you I wasn't delirious that I had a little pet mouse here. Whiskers here, say hi, say hi Whiskers. <laughs> okay, so if I was going on a trip for a couple of days, this is pretty much what I would take. So we have my laptop, get that in there. Clothes in there, we have some pants, some sweats, a dress shirt, some a journal, granola bar stuff. I have some dice or some game cards just in case I get stuck somewhere, stranded somewhere, my battery on my phone or my computer goes dead. Computer stand. Have some lenses for my soaps and toothpaste and hygiene types. Sunglasses. That on the side pocket. Hard drive. I can go in here and get it. Oh, and the shoes, which I can put in this bag here these right in there. This is a bag of underwears and socks. And then a book. Look at that. It does fit into my marine layer bag. And there's still extra, extra, actually some extra room in there. So um, it could fit a little bit more. There you go. I look forward to uh, seeing how this bag holds up. And um, again, for $145, 150 bucks, um, but it was on sale. So I got it for actually $86. And I got everything to fit in here so I could use this for a uh, one, two, up to probably five days of travel with this single duffel bag or ski boot bag um, from Marine Layer. Um, if I was going for a couple more days, I would probably also take this backpack. So I would have this like this. And then if this was really heavy, I guess I would use this strap like this and travel like that. Yeah, oh, let's go look out Park Avenue South and see how it looks before we leave. And uh, let's go. Okay, I'll let you get a little bit better look at the bag here. This is a more natural lighting since it's by the window here, although we don't have a lot of sun, unfortunately. Today. It's a cloudy day here in New York City. Here is the bag. Again, look at this material, this waxed cotton material. I'm really interested to see how long this material lasts. If it does last a lifetime or just a couple years. We will see, but it feels good. It feels thick, sturdy, and I uh, look forward to using the bag. All right, last looks down Park Avenue South. Thanks for watching, see you next time.